Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video we are going to follow up last week's tortilla video and make some hard shell tacos and some tortilla chips. One of the questions that I got repeatedly last week was, can you freeze these tortillas? Absolutely, you can. Now, I do recommend if you have one, use a vacuum sealer. That'll keep any frost from forming inside the bag, which might dry out the tortilla and maybe give it a little bit of a funky taste. Now, if you use a vacuum sealer, be prepared for your tortillas to stick together. If you want, you could separate them with parchment paper before you freeze them, but once you toss them into a tortilla warmer, give them 20 seconds in the microwave, They separate on their own. They're perfectly pliable, just like the day I made them. I've tried making these taco shells and tortilla chips a few different ways. I've tried them in the dehydrator, I have tried pan frying them, and I've tried air frying them. In my experiments, what I discovered is that the tortilla chips work by far the best in a dehydrator. They tend to overcook when you fry them, either in a pan or an air fryer, you know, by the time they get crispy, they're a little bit overdone. So we're gonna stick with the dehydrator for the chips, but I'll show you how to do the taco shells all three ways. We'll start by slicing our tortillas. Each one makes eight chips. And then I will arrange them on my dehydrator tray right here. For the hard shell taco, I will include a link to these taco shapers down on Amazon. They are obscenely priced. At $20 for two of them, they should be about, I don't know, a dollar a piece, but it's the only product I found that really works well. Into the dehydrator, slap on the lid, and then we will set this to 135 degrees Fahrenheit or 57 Celsius for 90 minutes. It has been an hour and a half. We're going to take out our taco shell. We're going to leave the tortilla chips though, they need to go a bit longer. I will remove my taco shaper here. Now you'll notice that there's still a little bit of bend to this. We want that. It keeps it from breaking when we're eating. Now since it's breakfast, I'm gonna load this up with some cheesy scrambled eggs. When I take a bite, you'll see why that 90 minute mark was really where we wanted to be. The shell is firm, but not overly crispy, so it isn't gonna wind up cracking when you take a bite into it. You could probably go up to two hours and get it a little bit more crisp if that's what you'd like, but I wouldn't go much past that. Otherwise, you get that thing where you bite into it and the whole shell crumbles. Now, in terms of the tortilla chips, at 90 minutes, definitely not done. They're mildly crispy, but not crunchy. Not the way I like to have my tortilla chips. So I've found that right around four hours seems to be a pretty good number. I've gone as long as six hours. That'll put a nice crunch on your chip. For the next hard shell, we're gonna use an air fryer. This is the Ninja Foodi. Power this on, set to air crisp, 360 Fahrenheit, and preheat. Meanwhile, I will give my tortilla a little spritz with some avocado oil. Just spread it around to make it even. and we'll put it into our taco shaper. Our air fryer is preheated. So we'll put in our shell. Now we're gonna let this go for two minutes and then we'll flip it. Flip it to the other side and we'll let it go for another two minutes. All right, you can see how we're starting to get nice and brown here. It's not quite done though yet. I think we're gonna give it one more minute and check it after that. All right, there is our shell. So here is our air fryer shell. I'm just gonna take a bite out of it, just straight up. 
Now it's possible that with some filling, it might not have broken, but if you want to be on the safe side, maybe just air fry for only four minutes rather than five. I apologize for the high level of contrast in this shot, but what we have here is a cast iron pan with some avocado oil. I have heated this up. I'm shooting for somewhere between 325 and 350 Fahrenheit. That's about 160 to 170 Celsius. So we got our heat set to medium high. We are 347, looking good. In fact, I may want to dial the temp back a bit. And in goes our taco shell. We're gonna let this go for two minutes on one side, then flip the other side, and then probably one more minute just along the bottom. Give it a flip. And then just get the bottom for another 30 seconds to a minute. That is looking good. We're gonna to go to a paper towel and let this drain for a couple minutes. So I filled up our hard shell taco with some steak and we'll add a little bit of shredded cheese, a bit of hot sauce, and time to taste. This one right here, hands down, my favorite. Now, if you do decide to do the pan frying, you could press these tortillas a little bit less so they're a little bit thicker. And then when you cook the tortilla, it actually gets sort of like a chalupa sort of a texture. So a little bit crisp on the surface, but still soft on the inside. That is also super delicioso. So I will put my recommendations, what works best for me in terms of time and temperature for all three cooking methods down in the description below. I will also have a link to the tortilla recipe both in the description and as a end card, probably right up here. So if you like this video, please click that like button. If you're not a subscriber already, tap that subscribe button and then hit the bell and turn on all notifications. And finally, if you'd like to help support the Serious Keto Test Kitchen, click that join button and see what memberships and perks are all about. Thanks for watching.